Hello again, Assistant Narrator Richardson here. And you know what? I've not used a radio in ages. Not even in the car, like Bluetooth is the way to go. I suppose when an earthquake happened, I used it for a second to check. But honestly, like unless I'm in somebody else's car, I don't listen to the radio anymore. <laughs> Weird thinking about it. Anyway, let's get on with this SCP, shall we? Item number. SCP-6646 Restriction Level Level 3 Confidential Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class Concern Special Containment Procedures The area in which SCP-6646 manifests, designated Zone 6646-O, has been classified as a restricted US military operating zone to discourage civilian investigation. Foundation operatives, identifying as members of the United States Armed Forces, are to remain in Zone 6646-O during SCP-6646's active months and perform continuous radio surveillance of both the zone proper and surrounding areas. Any confirmed SCP-6646 broadcasts must be intercepted and prevented from reaching civilian receivers. Civilian personnel residing in areas within a 50 mile radius of Zone 6646-O must be regularly screened by Foundation medical staff. Suspected exposure to SCP-6646 is cause for immediate termination. Description SCP-6646 designates a series of anomalous radio broadcasts originating from the now abandoned town of Wilkins, West Virginia, reclassified Zone 6646-O following the initiation of Foundation containment efforts. When broadcasted, SCP-6646 will override all AM and FM radio stations in its effective radius forcing any individual utilising a radio receiver to listen to its content. SCP-6646 seems to possess knowledge of the number of individuals within its effective radius, utilising a radio device at any given time and will deliberately initiate broadcasts during such periods where radio usage is higher than normal. The exact source of SCP-6646 is unknown, though attempts to trace the broadcast invariably result in investigation efforts terminating within Zone 6646-O. Despite the limited extent of its range, knowledge of SCP-6646 or similar anomalies appears to be widespread throughout the United States. The content of SCP-6646 varies slightly during each broadcast, but typically takes the form of an Emergency Action System EAS notice issued by the United States government. Warnings are often highly alarming in their nature, ranging from an imminent nuclear attack by a foreign power to alleged attacks from Redacted and other anomalous beings. Warnings become more aberrant as the broadcast progresses, culminating in a self-described black warning. The anomalous properties of exposure to SCP-6646 do not manifest until a black warning is issued. Regardless of the nature of the black warning, any individuals listening to the broadcast at the time will exhibit extreme levels of fear and anxiety, barricading their homes or otherwise isolating themselves from the public. Subjects will refuse to leave or interact with any outside personnel until an all clear is issued, but SCP-6646 never issues such a message. Other all-clear messages, regardless of origin, will be disregarded and treated as hoaxes. The exact time required for affected subjects to expire depends on the availability of food and water within their home, but is typically between two to five weeks. Addendum 1. Transcription of SCP-6646 Black Warning the following is a transcription of a black warning issued by SCP-6646 on Classified, Classified, 1999. This is an emergency action notice issued by the United States Department of Defense in association with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. 
The following warning has been designated Black Eye Priority. Please listen closely. Your cooperation is essential to your survival. If you are currently outside, you are in immediate danger. You are being watched. Cease your current activity and return home as quickly as possible. Disregard all attempts made to stop you or otherwise prevent you from reaching your home. Disregard all law enforcement personnel. Disregard all claims alleged to have originated from government agencies. Disregard all emergency messages excluding this message. You are currently being watched. Upon arrival at your home, seal all doors and windows. Move all family members into the basement of your home and seal the entrance. If you do not have a basement, enter the bathroom and make the doors inaccessible. Ensure all firearms, if you possess firearms, are readily accessible. Ensure all firearms are loaded. Ensure all other weapons and self-defense tools are within reach. Do not breathe. Remain absolutely quiet at all times. Do not breathe. If a family member begins to breathe, kill them as quickly as possible. Dispose of the body as soon as you feel that the area is safe. Do not stop listening to this broadcast. Do not breathe. 30 seconds of silence. There is a 1999 Toyota Corolla parked approximately 3 miles to the north. It is located roughly 13 minutes from the nearest residence. The vehicle is situated in an open clearing immediately prior to the entrance to the woods. This vehicle was occupied by an adult male driver, an adult female and two male children. This vehicle travelled from Bakersfield roughly 39 minutes to the north of Wilkins and arrived at this clearing at approximately 6.32pm EST today. Upon arrival, the driver of the vehicle exited the vehicle, walked into the forest and remained unseen for the next three hours. The passengers remained in the vehicle for the entirety of this period. When the driver returned from the forest, he was broken. The passengers immediately fled the vehicle and moved further into the clearing. Visibility was minimal due to the setting of the sun and natural fog that had accumulated in the area. The youngest male child, approximately nine years of age, seemed to trip on his shoelaces. He fell to the ground and sustained a concussion upon impact. Do not stop listening to this broadcast. Do not breathe. Disregard the events that occurred to this child. Do not contemplate what happened to this child. Do not speculate as to what transpired following the child's fall. The remaining survivors disregarded attempts to call for assistance and fled further into the field. By this time, visibility was effectively zero. The driver was broken. They did not listen to the driver. The driver could not be fixed. Look behind you. Do not breathe. Ensure you are alone. The driver began to melt into the earth. The odour of this was carried forward by the wind. The passengers disregarded his screaming. The passengers disregarded his laughing. The liquid that had once been the driver seeped forward in pursuit. They did not see it until it reached them. The child's eyes melted into his teeth. Then his skin melted into the bone. Then his bones fused. Then they decided to keep him alive for as long as they wanted him alive. Disregard. Do not breathe. We have obtained an audio recording of the remaining survivor of this 1999 Toyota Corolla. Playing audio file. Do not breathe. Please, please someone. If anyone is out there. I'm all alone. I'm somewhere near Wilkins. The woods near Wilkins. Please, God, please help me. I don't know. Please, my name is Samantha Rogers. Please help me. I don't know where I am. I can't feel my face. It took my face. Talking hurts. Please, someone help me. Oh my God. Oh my God. It took my face. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hard help. Rapid footsteps consistent with sprinting become louder. Please let me go. Please. It hurts. Oh my God. Footsteps become louder. Help! Help! It is time for you to breathe. Do not stop breathing. By breathing, they will know where you are. You must be prepared to encounter the threat. Breathe slowly and calmly. Disregard all requests made by family members. Disregard all statements made by family members. 
in the presence of unidentified liquids or the sudden appearance of a puddle underneath the door, immediately execute all individuals in close proximity, then commit suicide. In the presence of rapidly approaching footsteps or unexplained vocalizations within a distance of three feet or less, enter the fetal position with your head in your arms and wait for the threat to pass. Do not engage with the threat unless all other options have been exhausted. Do not stop breathing. There is silence for 30 seconds. They have made a nest. They are beneath you. Do you feel them? They are burrowing. Stay down. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Feed the ground. Feed the ground. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Feed the ground. Feed the ground. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Feed the ground. Feed the ground. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Feed the ground. It is preferred that you be partially condensed and digested prior to intake for ease of transfer. Feed the ground. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Do not stop breathing. Feed the ground. Silence for three minutes, followed by unidentified screaming and sounds consistent with flesh being torn. An unknown entity is heard chewing and swallowing. Someone else has fed the ground this time. Please await your turn, calmly and quietly. This has been an emergency action notice issued by the United States Department of Defense in association with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This broadcast will repeat every 15 minutes. That's the end of the document. You know what? I don't mind not listening to the radio anymore. <laughs> Let's just hope they don't yeah, do it through Bluetooth instead. Or podcasts. That would be the end for me. <laughs> anyway, goodbye.